Hi, I'm John Hart and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. Today I'm sharing with you three things that all fitness YouTubers face. So for those of you who are thinking about getting involved in the YouTube video making uh, you know, realm, you may have a little bit of uh, enlightenment in some of the things I'm about to mention. and Some of them maybe you've already known or figured out on your own. But let's see in a moment here. I'm going to jump right into these things, okay? Three things that myself, as well as all other YouTubers in the fitness section of YouTube, the fitness industry, uh, so I just call it fitness YouTubers, just to shorten it up, we all face. The first thing is that as a fitness YouTuber, you are going to face the fact that this is a business. It's a business. You're running a business. So as much as you can love what you're doing and enjoy what you're doing in the fitness industry as much as you can say that, you know, I, I enjoy bodybuilding. As much as you can say you love uh, CrossFit, as much as you can say you love bodybuilding or powerlifting or, you know, Olympic lifting and you love teaching it. All of that, you know, if you're going to do videos, by the way, you have to be kind of a teacher and have a teacher's heart, which is important. But as much as you can say those things, at the same time, it's a business. You're running a business. So it's a, a new form of business online. Over the past couple of decades, it's established itself and it's a form of, yes, making money. So for a lot of the, uh, the people who watch these, vi these videos, they don't really know how do any of the fitness YouTubers make money. And one of the ways, in fact, is other than having an outside job, which I do still have, this is important uh, that you understand that as well. Other than having an outside job, on YouTube, the advertisers, the ads that you see that are running uh, at the beginning and the end of each video, and then sometimes YouTube will place some ads within a video. By letting those ads run, uh, the YouTuber gets paid. And it's pennies uh, during the course of a video, but when you have thousands and thousands of views, they add up. And then you have hundreds of videos, now it adds up, people visiting your channel. So these are the types of things and areas where you're now understanding you're making an income and running a business. So that is one aspect that all fitness YouTubers face. At some point in time, the product you put out should be getting better and better. And hopefully you guys even notice in some of my very old videos compared to now, uh, there's a change. There have been improvements in little ways and some in larger ways but you're gonna see there's a change. And so I kind of move with it just like some of the other guys and girls do. And you know, that's one of the things you need to do is improve your product, whether it's by giving out better knowledge, giving out a better looking product, or just better entertainment for that matter. Whatever it is, there's gotta be better down the line. But it's a business, that's number one that we all face. The second thing, and this one I know you figured out, is uh, if any of the fitness YouTubers are in their comment section at all. And you all know I've been in my comment section quite a bit uh, as a way of showing you all that I'm, I'm willing to go ahead and you know, give the information uh, as a way of saying thank you for even watching the videos, but giving the information, interacting a little bit with the general public as well uh, is good in my view. So uh, those comments, however, being a fitness YouTuber, I'll tell you something, uh, we all face the same thing, which is scrutiny by our audience, you know, right there in the comments section. For all intents and purposes, there's a lot of good, positive comments and, um, you know, thumbs ups and, you know, people who subscribe to your channel. While I'm on the subject, while we're in the middle of that, by the way, uh, if you're liking the videos that I'm doing, by the way, will you please hit that subscribe button off to your bottom right, that red subscribe button, and then off to your left down below over there, you're going to see a thumbs up. That really helps the channel out a lot. So if you don't mind doing that with the YouTube algorithm, it helps a lot. Please give it a thumbs up. That helps a lot. So having said that, I'm in the comments section and every YouTuber faces this, that your day is going just fine. And You've given out some really good information on your videos. You're happy to have done it. You enjoyed making the videos. You enjoyed editing the videos, all of those things. And you put it on out there. And by the way, you also do things like stay in good shape for your, for your videos as well, and, or get in better shape for them as well. And then you put it on out there and boy, you know, you have hundreds of really nice comments. Great. But 
Each one of us has to face the reality, every fitness YouTuber has to face the reality that you're not exactly everybody's cup of tea. You're not exactly going to be loved and liked by everybody. That's not going to happen. And certainly there are very lonely people out there in the world who, for all intents and purposes, they have nothing better to do but sit behind their computer and criticize every single thing and every single person along with the fitness YouTuber. So those comments are going to come. There's all of a sudden going to be, your day is going great, you're doing really well, and suddenly you come across a comment because our phones do let us know. Our laptops do let us know when there's new notifications on new comments and all of that. And we can choose to look at them or not. Now, I'll share something with you. I've had my YouTube friends over the years who've said to me, John, stay out of the, the comment section. Stay out of it. Uh, and I can see why, you know, uh, I'm good with it. It just, as you guys can tell, I don't strike out at people who strike out at me. Uh, I understand people can have opinions differing from mine and I'm absolutely fine with that. Please express them in the comments section. By the way, while I'm on that subject, any comments of this video down below, please, at the end of the video, feel free to go ahead and hit me with whatever comments or any comment uh, whatsoever on the subject matter I'm talking about in any of my videos, go ahead down below and hit the comment section, shoot it on out there. Uh, you're welcome to, you know, any and all. And you'll see in a lot of my videos that uh, while the YouTuber, the fitness YouTuber does have control over deleting certain comments, you'll find in all of my videos that's pretty rare that you're going to see that there were any comments that were deleted and you can tell that they were because it almost looks like there's a one-sided conversation going on between one guy and himself or one girl and himself and there's somebody missing in there. And the reason why is because in, in the YouTuber's view and in my case, uh, I really, I'm fine with anybody saying anything they want on my channel except for when they go over the top and I mean really over the top with uh, you know attacking anybody and everybody, not just me, but anybody and everybody. And they just attack, 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 and it's unnecessary. Then after a while, it just gets redundant and they have to go. So sometimes that does happen. So fitness YouTubers face that as well. Uh, but for the most part, you know, a lot of us just leave it alone. So that is the best way to handle it in my mind. Uh, but I don't want to digress into other realms. So yes, the comments section, your day could be going along really, really well and suddenly there's that comment directed at you and boy, it might be something directed at something you said, how you looked that day. I've had all of these, something I've said, how I looked that day, and, you know, as far as dress, what I'm wearing, and then also my physique, I, you know, that one too. Uh, for those of you that don't know, you know, I've been around the block in physique competition. It, 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 I'm thankful that a lot of the commenters were not judges on the day that I stood up on stage each time, okay? Because, woo, there's a lot of people just don't like my physique, and that's fine. Everybody, as I said, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. So that's number two. We face the comment section. The fitness YouTuber faces the comment section on their own videos. Some fitness YouTubers just turn off the comment section altogether, so you can't comment on their videos. I, I'm not like that. And then lastly, my number three uh, biggest thing that fitness YouTubers face is scrutiny or criticism from other fitness YouTubers. What is that? So I'm going to tell you right off the bat. Some of them, they do it to attract attention. Some of them do it to, of course, beef up their own channel and jump into the mix of controversy with other YouTubers uh, that really may have a soft ego or a fragile ego and don't want to be criticized by other YouTubers. And then they get into it. The next thing you know, yeah, the general public watching this wants to see more and see what's going on. And so they do get more clicks, they get more likes, they get more of all of that. Maybe even more subscriptions. The next thing you know, their channel has been elevated. So that formula to a degree uh, has worked in the past and there are a lot of fitness YouTubers who, you know, keep sticking to that formula because it's worked for others. I'm not one of them. If anything, I, I like to speak highly and stay on the positive end. So I'm actually going to point out to you 
uh, while I'm at it, two channels that I regularly frequent and, uh, and I do subscribe to, and I like watching their content a lot. Uh, one of them, of course, Athlean X, Jeff Cavalier, okay? I mean, hey, you know, hey everybody, Jeff Cavalier, Athlean X here, like this. <laughs> Starts off every video like that. You know what? The man is smart. The man runs a nice business. The man has very good content, okay? I know some of you disagree, and that's, again, your opinion. But I enjoy watching his stuff. Uh, the other one, uh, maybe not as popular, maybe not as big, but Natural Gallant Bodybuilding, Jason Gallant. And uh, well, before I go to Jason, let me tell you, uh, the thing that I really like about Jeff Cavalier is not only his uh, eloquent, uh, his ability to eloquently uh, describe what it is he's trying to teach, uh, but also his personality. I don't find it abrasive. I find he does very well with what he does. He's got a great physique, he's in shape. And oh, he's in shape 365 days a year. That's for a fact, okay? And has no problem showing his physique. Uh, and obviously practices what he preaches. So I, I like that a lot, uh, that he does that. But at the same time, I find most of his content very relevant and pretty good, okay? Uh, so I enjoy it. And he has a little bit of a sense of humor. Jason Gallant, Natural Gallant Bodybuilding. Uh, is his channel. Uh, and he also has, I think, a Jason Gallant channel as well. Now, this guy, I have to tell you, uh, he, he doesn't know me personally, but I've actually seen him competing. He's a natural bodybuilder from back in the day. Jeff, Jeff Cavalier is not a natural bodybuilder from back in the day. He's, uh, uh, I don't know his entire history, but I know that he was all, uh, a strength coach for a baseball team way back in the day. But, you know, he's educated. Jason Gallant, on the other hand, natural bodybuilder, started out uh, just like myself, natural bodybuilder. And I saw this man compete back in, had to be 98 or 99 at a, a, a natural show. I think it was in Vegas, like the Natural Mr. USA or the Natural Nationals or something like that, or Natural World, one of those shows, even though he's from Canada. Uh, and man, that kid on that stage, I remember it, it blew the hair back on my head because that physique that he had, I thought, wow. This cat, this is too amazing. I mean, it was hard to believe that he was natural. I mean, he came off the stage and yeah, you know, I could check him out and see him a little bit differently up close. But on stage, his physique just popped. He had an amazing physique on stage. And I, to this day, I follow his channel. Uh, I watch his videos. Number one, a lot of the content that he has, very, very good. He speaks from a natural bodybuilder's perspective and he does a great job of it. A lot of great teaching that he gives. He offers a lot of great teaching, a lot of great information. And then on top of it all, and as he's gotten older, he's changed. You know, I mean, he's a little bit older now and uh, he's still got a really nice physique, but you know, he has a little bit more body fat and uh, you know, his hair is long. He looks different than when he was younger. Uh, but the greatest thing about watching his channel is he's got this offbeat sense of humor and it makes it kind of fun to watch. So I myself, you know, I'm just sharing with you some of the things that, you know, you can see the common themes. I like to get some good information. I like it to be lighthearted with a little bit of humor in there mixed in, of course. And then, uh, and then lastly, it does help if they look like they practice what they preach and just look like they're in good shape. I like that. You know, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a watcher of YouTube myself. So uh, I don't blame any of you guys, you know, when you make certain comments about me, you know, for not meeting your expectations. So I do understand. And maybe again, I'm not your cup of tea, just like some of those channels I just mentioned, maybe they're not your cup of tea. Maybe you wouldn't watch Jeff Cavalier or Jason Gallant. Maybe that's not your thing. Uh, but in any event, those are a couple of my favorites that I like to watch regularly. And look, here's the bottom line. So those are the three things I've, I've covered for you today that most YouTubers face. I'm glad that I don't have up until now a lot of uh, other fitness YouTubers criticizing me. But when you see a couple of them going at each other and it's genuine and they genuinely don't like each other, wow. I mean, it's just so unnecessary. Uh, there's, there's so much to go around, let's say, that it's, it's just unnecessary. I mean, fragile egos and all of that, you know. So, um, psh, all the ways I've described to you, all the things that we all face, this is a business. Uh, the comment section and people's opinion. You have to have thick skin. 
And then lastly, other fitness YouTubers, <coughs> excuse me, other fitness YouTubers criticism of you. Uh, it's just unnecessary and most of us do face those things. Uh, but for the most part, the great thing about the fitness YouTube section is that you get a lot of really great free information as an end user, as the person watching it. If you want to learn a lot, then watch any one of our channels. Mine, for example, Mr. America Heart, I'm more than happy to share the information as much as possible because I know it increases not just my business, but I also am helping a lot of people. And when you have a teacher's heart, that's what you do. You just do that. I find myself doing that no matter what, whether I'm here or whether I'm training clients, it doesn't matter. You know, that's, that's my other job. I train people uh, outside of YouTubing. So that's exactly the way that it rolls. I just have that uh, need to teach what I know to people and I get great satisfaction from it. So if anything from YouTube, we get a lot of great satisfaction as well besides getting paid. So that's it for today. From my heart to you, I hope you enjoyed this video. And hey, before you go, check this out. There's a little disc about to pop up around my head right here on the left. That disc is the subscription button to my channel. Please, if you're liking these videos, give that a tap, like I said earlier on. And down below, that thumbs up button. If you don't mind, give that a little tap too before you go. Turn that thing blue. Helps the channel out a lot. I'll see you real soon. Thank you once again.